All right, hello everyone, this is Arcadia. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to play snake water for sixes. This is gonna be shooting to be a, like somewhere between amateur and main level guide. Uh, I'm gonna assume that you already know the basics, how to roll out, what all the callouts are. I'm not gonna be going over those in this video. First things first, we're gonna talk about mid fights. So in this mid fight, the verticality is very important, and as such, your team plays around that. So I'm going to start with um, the demo, as he tends to be the kind of most important piece of how to play this mid. So generally, your demo is going to roll out lower. Your first sticky is going to go on the enemy demo man, or the combo. Basically, you're throwing it back there. Your second sticky, same thing. You can kind of throw it on the demo and throw it somewhere else. Third and fourth stickies, you're either looking to follow up on that damage you did or you're looking to start to do some stuff like that where you put stickies on that house. And then with the rest of your stickies, you're going to be like backing up, reloading, and looking to lock off lanes, lock off areas of the map. So the sort of important pieces of this are, there's a lot of critical areas where your team wants to play. Uh, I'll obviously go into this later in the video, but um, like taking control of different areas, whether it's up here in this left lane, the right lane, or a top right, or maybe even their shed or a cross point, where you take control generally depends where the enemy is playing and where your team likes to play. So for example, if your soldiers want to try to bomb right, you can put a bunch of stickies up on right and keep that area safe for them. A lot of demos I know as well will shoot their second or third sticky up at that corner so that it lands kind of right there or right here. And this way it's able to hit uh, the flank glasses that stand right here, the roamer and the scout. So the general idea for Demo Man in this mid fight and in many mid fights is to look to do initial damage early when they're the only class at the mid. Usually that's on the other demo or on other classes that arrive quickly or looking to set something up so that they, they hit the medic. And then with the remainder of the mid, it's playing passive, reloading, and then locking down areas. You're looking to lock down lanes for your team to run through, or lock down high ground for your team to bomb on top of. That's generally your job on these mids. So next I'm gonna talk about Pocket Scout. So as Pocket Scout, you're generally gonna be playing on this shack. And what's your ideal goal to do in this mid is kind of to play passive and not let your team die to anything really dumb. So for example, you should try to have some understanding of where the roamer is, usually up here, or the pocket is, usually over there, and look to be finding these players and not letting them jump on onto you or onto your team. That's kind of your number one responsibility. Secondarily, you can shoot stuff that aggresses anywhere on this lane, a cross point, maybe like into here, but you're really not looking to get distracted too much. You want to shoot the soldiers first and foremost and, and prevent those bombs from happening. It's a really critical job on this map. Uh, in terms of aggressing later into the mids, a common push is to run either two scouts or one scout to the left on this left lane and take control of their shed and kind of push them out, whether it's through saw or lower. But this is a powerful high ground over the rest of this yard. And if you get your medic to take you all the way up here and give you 185 when you play up on this high ground, say they play back here, like you're very powerful here. And this is what you're looking to do if you're the one who needs to be aggressive. Um, Again, this is all gonna kind of be a rough framework. I'll go into bigger ideas after I've talked about all the classes and a couple different options, but 
generally these are the sorts of things you're going to want to do as scout. In rare occasions you can look to do stuff like this and get up here, but most of the time you're going to be playing on this shack and you're going to be playing around your medic watching for soldiers. That's your number one priority. I'm going to talk about flank scout while I'm on scout. So generally you're going to play up in this spot, kind of looking to do similar things as your as your pocket scout, um, but kind of just, just from a different area. You're looking to sort of pistol spam from afar, perhaps, if you have extra time, but your main priority is looking for these soldiers. Uh, generally, you are much more responsible for the left side. Any bombs that come over here land in lower. It's kind of your responsibility to look for these people. If they try to go behind, don't let them get back in. Or maybe they go kitchen and you try to fight them there. These are kind of what you're looking to be doing as the flank scout. Um, secondarily, again, you can push up across. You have, you have great access to all these high grounds once you're actually up there. Uh, you can take control of these top areas as well. Especially if you can take control of up here, you have a lot of good angles for shooting down, but this would be only if you're really uncontested. Uh, generally, again, you're going to be playing more defensive. You're looking to stop enemy aggression, and the only times you're looking to aggress are when it's really, really free for you. Um, same thing as I mentioned with Pocket Scout, you're, you can drop down, look to get aggressive with your medic across this lane. Same idea. Uh, if your pocket scout dies, I would recommend rotating over and kind of looking to fill this role and be the scout that plays with your medic. Um, it can often happen where the demo, their demo, kills your pocket scout. Um, as it's common for there to be a lot of spam put onto this class. So if the scout dies, it's good for you to rotate over and uh, assist. Essentially, you can take up that missing player's role. Uh, next thing I'm going to talk about is Pocket Soldier. Generally, you're going to be playing up here. You're looking to spam. You have this great spam angle. You can hit directs on the demo for uh, 50 damage. You're, you're huge. You force this demo back. You force heals onto the demo man. It's very critical. And then you're looking to kind of follow up aggression. This is a standard soldier principle, but you're generally looking to bomb after your team has already done stuff. So for example, you have the scout push, you can take your demo across point, uh, you can have your scouts get high ground, and then you can follow up in some capacity. But that's what you're looking to be doing, essentially, is hitting that, that spam like this, and perhaps sometimes fighting a class that tries to push up on you here. Common bombs for follow-ups are going to be this one. This is a standard bomb. They're just jumping high. Very simple. You can go fast as well. Skip off the platform. You have a lot of options. Uh, you can go left, you can go right, it doesn't really matter. I uh, kind of just want to tailor around where your team's putting their aggression. But again, like, as pocket, your main job is to really hit this, hit this spam and, like, do a lot of damage. If you can do this damage from afar, um, your stats won't necessarily reflect, like, the impact that you're having. Your damage might be lower, like... To do 50 damage from far away is obviously less damage than doing like 200 to this guy, but you can win the mids if you hit one rocket, maybe you hit a second rocket, you've done, maybe you do one direct, one splash, that's 70 damage to the demo. That's a lot of time the, their medic has to spend healing him, and the demo has to play more passive. These are kind of your, what you're looking to accomplish on this, the, the mid is these big goals. So last I'm going to talk about Roamer. Generally you're going to play up here or down here. Look to link up with your med, get some heals, and you can kind of play these angles. You can spam 
here as well, if you hit this corner, you're gonna splash anything around there. If you hit the, like, low corner, it's kind of difficult, but perhaps you get good at it, you can hit these splashes here. And same thing, you're gonna be doing a lot of listening. So the idea is the same as Pocket Soldier, you're looking to follow up, but obviously your pocket can see and you really cannot if you're playing here. It's very difficult for you to see what's going on in the mid, so you're gonna have to be doing a lot of listening. And your ideal scenario is listening for like when your combo is pushing up this area, you can wait until they've called kind of where they are, where they're leaving, and you can follow. Say they're they're leaving this way, you can kind of bomb here, take this high ground, shoot spam, or say they're leaving saw, you can do the same thing. You go off this and land around here. Obviously my jumps aren't that great, but I don't play roamer, so... I don't practice them that much. I probably shouldn't go in the video, but... Those are the big ideas for Rummer. You're looking to follow up and you're looking to listen. Secondarily, you also want to protect your scout from getting killed here. Perhaps there's aggression that's going to come up here. Maybe a scout pushes or their pocket, whatever. Uh, but you can be here to kind of spam this corner. Or you can be ready to counter bomb from below. Perhaps you're playing down here, waiting for a bow or something. You jump, and you counter jump. Whoever's up there. Finally, I'll talk about medic. So, as medic, as you get to this mid fight, you're gonna look to link up with your demo man first. You wanna get him to 260, so that he can be as effective as possible, has a lot of health to work with for the rest of the mid. Once that's done, you're gonna wanna switch to your scout. I want to give this scout 185. If it's convenient, give this scout 185. And then look to link up with your roamer. Your roamer is looking for crit heals generally, whether they're here, there, down here. You can give them 300 if that's convenient. Then you just want to get your beam back on your pocket scout. And stuff is going to start happening by then. Keep your eyes up. Really important, of course, on this mid. They have high bombs that can come from here, here. They can skip off these platforms, you have to be aware. So it can be good to kind of, if you can surf a rocket up on top of this shed, it's very good. Uh, kind of playing around these stairs is like deceptively actually bad because you can get juggled here very easily and just get stuck in the corner. So same idea with this thing as well. You don't want to really be under this thing if you don't, like if you can avoid it because if you get splashed and juggled here, there's so many surfaces to splash you on. If you're gonna like be out of this mid, you should be all the way out. You should be right here, basically. All the way out, two doors away. But if you're in the mid, the best place to survive bombs is everywhere out in this yard. The only place you can get splashed is like when you're in the middle is on the ground. So that's why this is good. If you keep your eyes up, you keep your beam on your scout, um, they have soldiers landing on you, you can try to surf, you have a lot of room, you just don't want to get caught on these walls. Um, especially hitting surfs where, say, you're right here, you can surf up to here quite easily, and then re-engage. You have your flank up here, walk back down, get acquainted with everyone, move forward. Uh, it can be also easy as med to get kind of caught out to go for this pack or to go for a saw pack and get killed. So I would recommend if you're looking for a pack and your team is actually being aggressive, you can scoop this pack or go into saw if your team is playing passive. And generally if you get this pack, you're looking to kind of either come right back in immediately or just kind of get out. Yeah, that's, that's about the most important stuff for Medic on mid. <clears throat> so, starting with last. So, we're going to start with uh, disad, and then even, and then talk about add. So, disad, in an uber disadvantage situation, or a player down situation, 
you're gonna want to have your combo kind of on left and up on top. So as with most 5 CPU maps, you're not gonna want to have any scouts on this last. You're gonna opt for an NG and a heavy most times or an NG and a sniper. A sniper can get the early force, whether it's through shutter or on the right. So how you're gonna hold this generally is your demo is going to play above point, usually going to sticky left and keep them trapped out of left. Uh, you're going to have your heavy above point, your medic can play on this ramp and above point, kind of all around here. Then you get your soldiers up on high ground, whether it's up here, up on this shack, on this truck. You're looking to play in active places where you can spam and get the force and also jump around. You might want to go behind, you might want to jump away, you know, give yourself opportunities to do that. So the normal setup I have is as as follows, heavy and demo on point, demo's playing left, soldier up top, NG, gun is either going to be here, here, or here, one of the three, and then... Other soldiers can kind of play like there on top of this, and that rounds out your whole lineup. So, in an even situation, you're going to want to hold on the right side. Your combo is going to want to play here. Your soldier can play on top of this fence and kind of spam this angle. They can play over here. Watch this, uh, they can play on top of this shack, and as beam, as medic, you can heal here, you can heal here. You want to play like kind of around here, too far back, and bombs can come through and hit you, so there's like a speed shot that soldiers can hit, they jump from there, speed shot here, they land back there. So you have to be aware of this, you don't want to play too far back, so you want to play close-ish. Then, same thing, if you have a heavy, heavy on top of point, sniper can play and spawn, NG, same gun spots here, 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 and then um, on roamer, you're usually going to be playing on top of this thing, or kind of down here, or you can get on top of this pipe, there's all these spots here. The only way that this changes for anyone involved is um, if they have a sniper as a medic, instead of standing here, you can stand over here. So now this allows you to buff your soldier if they play here or there. You can play with your roamer around here, and your demo is protecting this shutter and there. So your roamer is watching down there, so there should be no angle in which a sniper can peek you. So that is even. So let's talk about add, pushing out. So usually you're going to want to get aggressive through here. You're going to want to have your demo put a sticky and jump, whether it's to saw or lower. Usually teams will leave lower. It's quite rare for them to leave saw, but some teams will. Um, if they do leave saw, I recommend getting a soldier to bomb, try to get in as fast as possible, or if they're just leaving all the way, just don't use, basically. But if they're gonna play in yard and force you to use, you jump your demo all the way in and you follow with the scout. And you can jump over train, run like this, or you can run, like if your demo lands on the shack, you can run like this to right here and then play around like that. That's how the Uber out normally works. Under, you can do a similar thing if you bomb your demo, but you're much more blind. You don't really see where anyone is, and it's very easy for them to spot you from far away. So I recommend trying to go through shutter if you're gonna use. Um, and then if you're not gonna use, you can kind of just, as medic, bait your team out of uh, this door on bats, so you kind of just let your team walk in, take this space, try to spam and force them out, and then walk in after it's deemed safe. 
Um, those are pretty much the only pushes. So that would be the combo. Um, as a flank, you're going to want to have um, somebody clear lower and somebody clear left. And that includes drop down. So normally it's going to be the roamer clearing lower and like you have a scout and sometimes your pocket can clear upper. So you're going to want to look through all of drop down. Usually you can just run through shutter, peek like this. There's no like hiding spots up here or anything weird. So if you like peek like this, you can see everything. And then you can watch lower and kind of run out wherever you can run out top. You can run out lower. I usually would try to link up with my roamer down here. So that's where I would go. Um, okay, let's move on to second. So on second, if you have disad, um, you're going to have your combo play back here, demo up here. Usually you can trap a number of places like here on this pole, on like this corner here. There's all these rock traps. So watch out for all this. You can trap window and then play back here as demo and see all of it. So that's your objective. And then as a medic, you're going to stand back here and kind of play out. Uh, one common mistake I see by medics is like their team is playing bats and they're playing bats, but then when they leave, they they cross across lobby to go this way. This is bad because people can come in from here or from here and cut you off like this. So what you want to do is say you're backing from here, you want to go like this and go out shutter. So that would be demo. Soldiers, you can play high ground, you can play pipe, you can play fence, you can play on this thing. Your objective is to spam and try to force. Alternatively, I like to stand up here and shoot long range rockets. It's usually quite easy to hit force or hit medic if they're just kind of standing out in the open back here, which they tend to do. Um, and then as scout, you can kind of play same idea, play up here. Uh, flank scout can kind of play up on either train or on this or on fence. Any of these are quite good. So that's what you're looking to do. Um, yeah, you're looking for a spam force. Nine times out of the ten, they're going to come lower. But some teams will try to get in saw. And uh, usually that can be completely stuffed by a soldier just spamming from pipe down usually that almost guarantees a force so so in an in an even situation um you're gonna want to have your two soldiers playing here you don't want to have your pocket scout kind of up here watching as medic you're gonna want to play around right here have your soldiers come to you for buffs don't play too close because this can be bad you can get spammed or force um demo you play right here you can trap anywhere around here you can trap window and flank scout, you can play on top of shack, you can play on top of uh, this fence. Oh goodness, oh, I'm bad at movement. So you can play on top of this fence and your objective on the flank is to see if they're gonna push lower. And if they do, you wanna call it early so that your heels can rotate over, beam demo man. Maybe a soldier can come over, stand on this, stand on pipe. So that's what you're looking to do. Then in terms of a, when you have add, um, there's a couple pushes I like. So one of them is the, you kind of have three options. You have through the saw door, you have through cat, this catwalk, and you have through lower slash kitchen. So through saw, you're generally going to have to use if they're not playing super far back. Sometimes you can get away with coming through here for free, but beware of traps. Beware of traps everywhere. Saw trap, trap on this pillar, trap on these walls, like anywhere around here could be trapped. So it's quite dangerous to go out this way, but sometimes you can get away with using for free, and then you basically have a mid fight. Um, your second option, which is one I would recommend, is cat. Uh, you get in and take a lot of space without them being able to see you or spam you. 
and this is a door that you do not want to use out of. So first scout through, you want to check this trap, check all along here for stickies. Um, and then after that's clear, you can get uh, your whole combo through here and get your flank to come through lower or out saw. And then you're kind of in the mid. And if you have add, you can force them out or you can use into them. Um, the final thing is lower. Same idea, uh, you don't really want to use from here because they can't see you. You hug this wall and you're right here. Uh, I recommend this as well. And then finally you have kitchen, which is okay. They, they can usually spot you, but it allows you can bomb a demo or a soldier in from here and try to get in and cut off their retreat or something, whether they leave lower or saw. Uh, don't super recommend the kitchen, but it's okay. Disad on mid, you're gonna wanna play super passive. Scout here, medic here, just building. Get your soldiers on high ground. Demo, play ready to leave, get your trap set up, and then be ready to be ready to get out. And flank scout, you can kind of play wherever, try to assist with the force. Usually you can leave kitchen, leave wherever, lower. Um, but that's what you're looking to do. Use your soldiers on high ground to try to spam and get a force. So uh, again, the pushes that I mentioned are gonna be the ones you're likely to see. So it's good for a soldier to kind of stand here. Especially if you have original, you don't have to peek out super wide. Like regular rocket launcher, you have to peek out wider because it's right-handed, so you get blocked by, by this wall. You're looking to spam the force, especially from here. Saw is usually easy to get the force. Your demo can generally do that. Um, but especially these forces, soldiers, got to be on top of that. Then even, uh, generally you're going to want to have... Kind of two soldiers and saw, maybe a demo. You can have also your demo and two scouts kind of play lower. And as medic, you kind of play like right here, support your players and saw, kind of keep eyes, be ready to rotate. Um, that would be even, it's pretty pretty standard. Sometimes you can get your rummer up here to peek. Um, but yeah, nothing very complicated about holding even. Then in an ad situation, you have two options basically, maybe maybe three. You're either going lower, you're going saw, or perhaps you're going window, which still kind of leads you to lower, but window is a bit suspect. So I recommend pushing lower uh, with that and trying not to use, so as demo, you're going to try to shoot stickies and force players off of this thing. Force players off of this shack. And then get your team in. Of course, scouts want to check traps, check the rock, check tree, check hiders, all of the normal things. Like all these places. They could have a sniper and forwards as well. Very good. And then, uh, yeah, you're going to, as medic, you're just going to want to play passive kind of back here. Not get forced, not get sniped. Um, have your team kind of fight forward and, and push them back into their lobby. Uh, other classes can kind of come in from wherever, jump out a window, jump from saw, take control of pipe, take control of this fence. It's all very good. Uh, the highest high ground is either... Pipe is technically the highest, but the real highest high grounds are either this fence or that fence. You can see that that fence is slightly higher than bats, so it's it's like a little bit difficult for them to spam you up there. Vice versa, it's easier to spam from this fence down onto bats. So you're looking to take control of these like key advantageous high grounds and convert them in some capacity and force them out. So you don't want to use Uber in that situation. And then there's Saw, which I would only really recommend if their beam is playing close, which is unlikely. Um, but you can kind of run through here, and usually with like a scout and a soldier. Demoman's not always the greatest here. So there you kind of have two options. You can pop through and try to get right into them here and go into the bridge. Or if you're able to hold through, 
Um, I recommend taking a scout and soldier up here. Trying to wrap in lobby. This can be good. Uh, you have all these sorts of ideas. But those are some basic outline pushes. So now let's talk about disad on holding second. So if you have disad, you're going to want your pocket scout up on this shack, being able to watch. Um, you want your soldiers on the same high grounds up here on this fence. Blank scout can kind of play like cheese on this train, on this shack as well. Any high ground like play thing, basically. Um, and then as medic, you're going to be your, like right here, uh, healing this scout. And demo, same idea. You're probably going to want to be like back here so that you can watch a trap wherever you put it. Maybe you watch a trap lower. This is a good trap. Your flank, like flanks generally don't check traps very much. So you can put a trap here, catch flank players out because you can see this from all the way back here. All the way out, basically. Yeah, you're looking to, same idea, spam for the force and get them to use as they're coming in and allow yourself to have enough space to just leave for free after they use. Um, now, even holding, uh, what I recommend would be to play with a soldier right here. Demo kind of on ramp here. Your medic can play kind of here and heal both targets or up here and heal this target only. And what you're looking to do is just like spam into lobby. Don't let them really take a lot of space for free. Don't let them come out of this door. And then as flank, same idea. You kind of want to play like around here. Spam, don't let the soldier in. Spam the shutter if they try to come through. And scouts here just kind of roam and keep tabs on everything. So to do a sack, actually I'm going to go back and talk about sacks on second. So generally the best sacks are going to be through window. Or you can jump off this thing and skip off this and like land on this ramp. And it's okay. But generally, I would not recommend sacking. I would just try to push. Um, or just, yeah, send a bomb in from window high. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this, basically. You just bomb from here. You can jump off that again if you're so inclined. Um, and you will kind of land here or wherever. It's okay. It's not ideal. But there's not a ton of great options. Uh, you can kind of get in from saw as well if you can get into cheese. And get in here, kind of shoot people from behind. That's generally okay. Um, now sacking on last. Uh, what I would recommend is trying to do some kind of double or single sack. Usually this, I talked about it in passing before it's like uh, you stand you have your soldier palm off this wall they hit a skip right here and they land generally around here and this allows them to get in quite deep and what's good about a double in this sort of situation is a soldier commits in far they have to turn around this allows some space for a scout to run in and shoot combo players um some other sack options are, you can have that, that soldier bomb is quite good. I'd recommend doing that like nine times out of 10. You can have your scout run in lower as well. Maybe catch out. If you get in a little bit early, then the bomb comes later. So there's a lot of ways to kind of mix up the timing. So finally, let's talk about pushing this last. So. I recommend trying to take a scout through this shutter. Okay, so what you're going to do is have your demo put a sticky right here and then have your scout count down. Three, two, one, go. And then your demo is going to debt and your medic's going to use as your scout runs through the shutter. The point being, if you put a sticky here, blast any stickies away while they're higher or lower but especially the lower ones are important 
because if this doesn't happen, say you just use on a scout through, and there's five stickies here, you just get launched to the moon, and your uber is ruined. Um, generally, what you're looking to accomplish here is you're either going to commit right or commit left, and your demo is going to either stick point or stick their spawn, or stick their other spawn, depending on where you go. Um, but you're really trying to play this objective. It's important for uh, with this push for your flank to come in lower and threaten this cap or come in through left. But you're looking to threaten this cap uh, with this uber because if this uber ends, your, your advantage is basically over and you have a very small chance of winning because they're going to have spawns. They have resup right there. Um, so you're looking to commit really hard on the objective and force them to either run into your uber and die or stay and spawn and lose because they can't defend the cap. Another uber you can do is bomb your demo from lower, follow with the scout, same thing. Usually that means going left, landing on truck or something, landing above point, sticking off spawn or point. And then having your flank come in, whether it's from shutter or from left, I recommend left, and threatening this cap. Um, the left push is not that great, but this is where you would go if you're just... You have huge advantage, they're just down so many players, just everyone get in, everyone flood. You just get in left and don't, don't use, basically. Um... One thing you can do if you get stuck in an even situation is run a sniper. Um, you can have them peek from here, or just peek them aggressively in lobby. There's a lot of sight lines. You can play this sight line from train as well. Uh, there's a bunch of them right here, all along here. Um, you have a lot of options. You can kind of go s go lower and peek if their demo is like right there. Uh, you can peek wide and maybe get their medic or something. But usually you'll start to get spammed if you peek wider. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all there really is to this map. So, uh, best of luck this week. Hopefully uh, everyone does well. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe as the YouTube people say. Um, have a good one. This has been Arcadia.